Hello again. Welcome to the second instalment of our cryptic class. Here I'm looking at Cryptic Corner on page 55 of Take a Crossword, issue 3. If you watched our video last month, we explained how cryptic clues are put together and talked about anagrams. Again, we'll be looking at some of the clues in this month's puzzle, so if you don't want us to give anything away, you could always watch this after you've tried the puzzle yourself. This month we're going to look at leftover letters. Sometimes the different parts of the wordplay, anagrams and so on, don't give quite enough to build the answer, so we have to have extra hints to complete the clue. In the case of leftover letters, you'll be given some pointer to whereabouts in the word the appropriate letter appears, often something like at first or finally for the initial or final letters. Let's look at eight down. Potato in centre of Yorkshire pudding. What a lovely thought. We've got to concentrate on solving our puzzle rather than lunch though, so... Centre of Yorkshire is an indicator of leftover letters. At the centre of the nine-lettered word Yorkshire is the letter S, with four letters on either side of it. Pudding is often shortened to pud, and S, followed by pud, gives us spud, the potato that started us off on our tasty clue. So now you can see how leftover letters can help you in cryptic crosswords. 28 across and 5 down both use this technique too. So why don't you have a go at them next? And don't forget to buy issue 4 of Take a Crossword on sale on the 28th of March for another cryptic class. Bye for now!